Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I want to share with you a project I'm putting together today. And this is the new uh, art journal from Elizabeth Craft Designs. It is like a square. It's so cute. It is faux leather. You see there are two pockets inside right here. Kind of a jagged, torn look. Very cute. And I gotta stretch these back out so that they're all kind of even. There we go, those are about even now. So what I've been using is this paper from Cartabella called Botanical Garden. You can see that collection. And I'm using the dies from Elizabeth Craft. This set here is also part of the art journal collection and it is called My Edges. I have that in stock. I have these in stock. I'm also using this, which is the sealed pocket, and this is the, oh, it's missing a piece. This is the puzzle page. It has the large die here to make a trifold, which I will show you later, and it also has this beautiful pocket insert. And I also have this, which is Polaroid page, and this makes the standard page for it right there plus it also makes like a Polaroid cutout and all these cute embellishments here. This one is the jean pocket and that's it so far. I will show you what I've been doing preliminary. I've been cutting up. These are the 4x4 papers in the collection. I have left them connected added papers and just fold them in half and it makes a great size booklet for this. So I've got that one, and I've got this one, and then I just did a trifold here with the um, papers, and I just cut a, a strip that's 12 by 4, and I scored it 4 and 8, so we can do that. I have some more of these that I've left intact. If I want to make booklets, I have cut apart the pocket for the... Um, the pocket for the one of these. This is that. Um, this is the trifold that's part of the puzzle page. So it makes this three-part thing. This folds over, and you've got this little window here. I I put vellum behind it. Added a little piece of paper from the collection, and I used one of the edges here to make that. I will glue that together. I did one of the jean pockets, and I did go ahead and magnetize that. The button die is included. I grab some trims and I just want to quickly put this together and not overthink it. So I do have this and I think I want to put one of these pockets right on the outside of that. This is the little insert that goes in there, and it can't go in now because I have the uh, clamps on there. I noticed that when I put my tape on here to, to do the die cutting, I accidentally tore this. I'm still going to use it, and what I'm going to do is put a strip on the bottom from some of my scraps like this. So I could do that. I think I'll do it this way. I need to trim this. And that will fit in that pocket right there. I have this pocket, which I can put anywhere. And I think I like that on one of these. You have to think about how thick you're making your entire journal. And these are so cute. Normally, I would do a project like this as a big series. And I thought, you know, I just want to get one of these done and get it set aside. Now, this one... I want to put some backing on there so that I can see the letters, but I also like having just a little bit of pink showing right on the other side. So I'm going to hold that in place. There we go. Now I'm going to glue the top and the letters here. And then I will glue this here. Fold that back and there we go. 
Okay, the other thing is, that I have done to prep this ahead of time is I've taken a lot of the cut aparts and I have matted them and I'm using the 1 16th border around there. I use these, which are these layering guides. They're also in my shop. I have this one, it's mounted on pink. This one mounted on pink. That one's on green. This one's on black, on black, and on black. So some of these could be pockets. Some could just be inserts for pockets. Some could go in the journal. And like, for instance, I like having this to go in that pocket right there. I think that's going to be really pretty. Isn't that pretty? So I did not do anything to decorate this because I want to wait until this develops its own personality and I thought then I would kind of have an idea for what I want on there. Like even this would be really pretty. So I have lots of papers left over. I also have the stickers from the set which are right here. So let's look and see what we need to do. Let's start right here. I'm going to go through this and really be quick about it. And this one goes this way. Very pretty. I love this. Now, this sticks up above there, so I'm going to take the um, baby powder and go along that after I get the little dot to the eye here. All right, little baby powder on the back of that sticker. The other thing I would like would be to put something here as a sort of pocket. Let's see, is this going to work? That will, so. There we go, very nice. I have this here, I could put something on. I think what I'm going to do though, I really like this, but I think I want this to be an actual tag and not just a sticker. So let's put that on. I should have mounted that on a really pretty cardstock. I didn't do it. Let's just trim that off. And I have this little ribbon right here. I'm going to add a little bit of glue across the top. Just to tack that down for a second. And then I'm going to staple that in place. And I have the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher here. Normally I would use Fabri-Tac for ribbon, but I know that I'm just trying to get it to hold it in place just long enough for me to staple it. Now that will go in the pocket and that will be sticking out above there. So let's give it a little angle like that and now we have that other pocket there and I like this paper it's off white so sometimes the white trim doesn't look as good but yet some of the papers do have white in it so I can really do it whichever way I want I have this which is I think I'm going to use this as trim right here I like my journals. If you've been following me, you know I like my journals with uh, lots of floof sticking out. Yeah, floof is a word. <laughs> floof sticking out of the sides and the top. I'll put that aside to dry, but in the meantime, I also see this sticker set here that I think I might want to add to it. Let's see how much that we need. Oh, very nice. Very cute. You see how that really brings that out. And we got that. This, I want to work on this one here. This definitely needs something. So this here can also be a pocket. Um, and I can do it either way. I can do it as a side pocket. Let something comes out that way. I think I'm going to do it. That's too busy here. I've got to put it against this background. And I think I will do it as a let's see side pocket going this way. Once I've made a project, I will forget that that's a pocket. So I like to stick something in there pretty soon so that I can remember it's a pocket. Okay, so let's find something in here that we like. 
Collect moments, not things. Now clearly that needs to be put on something. So let's get some paper out here. And I'm going to use, this time I'm going to use, a, instead of the 1 16th, I think I will use the 1 8th. No, let's use the 1 16th again. I think I like that. Okay. Now this also has corners on it. I didn't do a great job on that one. This also has corners on it. I can round them or I can leave them as they are. I think I do need a little tiny ribbon coming off of there. Now that will stick in here. And now I have a ribbon coming off the side. That's really cute as well. Now let's see if we have anything sticker wise that can go right here in this thing. Let's do this. Let's use this as a pocket. Oops. I was going to do that as a pocket. I forgot. Let's just go ahead and glue that down there. Okay, now we can do a pocket. Let's do a pocket here. This one is dance like known as watching. Let's do this one because it's nice and short. Now this was a tag in there. This was a cut apart and I actually fussy cut it out and I used um, Tonic Studios Nouveau Drops on the top to accentuate some of the floral pieces there. This can be blank to be used as a journaling spot. So if I want, I can go ahead and put a mat there now and we can use that for photos. Now these are all four inch square panels, so I think I need to make that maybe about three. There's also some dies in the set that are really cute and wonky like this to layer in there as well. All right, now we have this, and this is a nice little fold over. It's got a pocket here, the pocket there, and it's got this pocket. Put that with those. These are all really cute. There's nothing on these here, so if I wanted to add a pocket to that, that would be great. Let's look and see what we have here now. And this can go in here. Okay, and then I can also add a ribbon to this as well. I think what I'm going to do on this one is go ahead and put it through the loop and pull that a little bit and staple that one together as well. And then down that goes into the pocket. So I have this pocket. I have a nice little booklet here. And let's put one of the stickers right in here for that. Beautiful. And this one still needs something else on it. Let's see what we need to do there. And so I don't like this harsh line here. So sometimes what I do is put a sticker or paper scraps like this up against there. And that would, that would work for me. I'm going to do that. This is actually the branding strip from the paper collection. Perfect. These are, I've already scored these. So I just need to burnish that a little bit. When I put these in, I can put them in this way in my journal. Like that. This becomes its own little separate piece there. I have three elastics. I got one, two, three, four, five of these. So these can go in there in any way that I want. I can put two in one. I've got a little bit of trim there. I think I'm going to add a little bit of trim here as well. This will make the whole journal hard to close. I realize that. <laughs> I'm determined anyway. Let's put that one aside. And I also have I also have some of this as well that I want to use on one of these. So let's go with this one right here. And I'm also going to add part of this sticker in here. Now, um, these art journals can be added to throughout the months as you're using it. You can add little ephemera, little memorabilia. You can add your photos. You can add journaling spots. So I like to leave it not so heavily 
crammed full of materials so that we can do those things. Although this is so busy, I think we need like a journaling spot there. So let's go ahead and use these cute little wonky um, layering pieces here. You can see how when you look at this against a solid background, you can see how it's a little off-centered. It's kind of cute. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing, but with a white one on the other side. And I also did from the collection this cute little, it's supposed to look like wax seal. It's got a, a debossed um, envelope on it. Let's put that right there. Got our own little seal. I think I'm going to add like a little pocket right here. That's a nice low pocket and that will hold one of these. Okay, but in the meantime, let's put some embellishment right on this. This is the Dance Like No One Is Watching sticker from the collection. And is it too much to put that in there too, which has the same sentiments? So maybe I should do this. Gives that a little extra attention there. Alrighty. And so when we go to put these in here, I want to, let's see, let's put one of the full ones, the notebooks, etc., right in one of these. And let's give one of these in there. And this in there. Okay, now I have these other pieces and they can go in with these other ones. For instance, I can put that right in the middle of one of these. And I don't have to stitch any of these in there. And then I think I'm going to put this one right on the outside of this one. Oops. And this one, these two still need a home here. I'll put this on the inside here. And this one looks a little baggy, so let's add this. And you can adjust the rubber bands, like you know how to get a little loose here. So it's made to be a very chunky album. Okay, so there you go. And this will go all the way around like that. It will smash some of my lace. Now I need to figure out if I want to do anything on the cover here. This is going to go in there like that. And this. And I think as much as I love the, the black look here, I want to add some of the pink and or the green to it. So let's see what I can come up with for that. Let me look at my trims and see what I've got. So I have gathered some lace. This is really, really old lace that I got from a thrift store. So it's darker than I would have wanted. And it's got, it's got some staining on it. So what I'm going to do is basically open this up. I could take these out to do this as well. I'm going to open this up, clamp that to the side here, or to the top, and I'm going to apply the lace. Now what I was thinking was, and I could, you know, if you want, and you want to put this lace higher, you could put your elastic right through the hole, you know, through the lace. So I just have to think of where I want this. And I kind of like the idea of even lower than necessary to make it like a skirt where it's hanging off the bottom. And I think I will do that so I don't need to uh, put this through the lace. So what I'm going to do is kind of mark this so that I can get my placement because I'm really bad at not being crooked. <laughs> I'm a crooked woman. Okay, so... I do want that hanging off a little bit, so I'm going to mark this. Okay, two inches. Let's go for two inches. Oh, this marks so well. Okay, and get my Fabri-Tac ready. 
So what I'm going to do first is to just get my Fabri-Tac, make sure I'm on camera here, get my Fabri-Tac all across this here. And I'm just going to put this band that's on the lace right on that. Notice this is hanging loose. Fabri-Tac adheres pretty quickly to where you can start working with your project, although per full permanency isn't achieved right away. I really do like the way that's hanging down off the bottom. That makes me happy. Okay, now all I'm going to do is just kind of tack here and there. I'm not going to, let's start in the middle. I'm not going to tack the entire lace down. I'm just tacking some key areas. And then I have this black that was gifted to me. It was in a set of green and black. And I'm going to put that a little lower down, like right under that, right here. And I'm making sure that I'm actually getting the lace and the journal that's under the lace here. I'm going in between all those holes there. Lay that down and I'm pushing it down into it. I'm going to wait before trimming that off. Now I have this pink. It is a little on the bright side, but it really does match a lot of the paper that I've got on the inside. So that goes next. You could consider it to be easier to work with this when your notebook is empty but it really didn't affect me in it at all. So now I think what I want to do is add a charm on here. I'm going to get a garment pen. And I have these black ones I think would be perfect. I also have a bright pink, so let, I will see which one I think would be better. Oh, there's one there that might be okay. I have a black and pink charms. There's the word imagine and the word believe. Let's see what we think here. I think this is the wrong color for me. It's more of a peach color instead of pink. So, and this is not quite pink. This is more of a coral. It, it might work. Let's see what I think. Let's use the pink. You know, this is gold. So let me see what I have. That'll be pretty too. Look at that. I think I like the black better. This was part of an old necklace here that got taken apart. This has got a really bad jump ring on it, so I want to get rid of that. There we go. Now, I can put this right on this, on this band, so that when it goes around the project, it's hanging there. So it would be hanging from this elastic like that right over the project and that would be cute but another thing you can do with garment pins is put it right through your material and because this lace this lace would be a perfect way to do that and then then the beauty of that is your pin is not constantly sliding around on this all the time it's more of a permanent solution I think I like that okay I'm going to let that dry overnight and I will just close this up when it's done and I will take pictures of it and give you at the end of this video.